Hi, I'm Kirsten Sheridan, a professional skin and body therapist and a Stesco diplomat. Welcome to Androgen's Effects on Sebaceous Gland Activity. In this video, we'll take a look at the role hormones play in sebaceous gland activity and sebum production. There are many androgens, but we're going to focus on the androgens that are primarily related to the function of sebaceous glands and the production of sebum. Due to their effects on sebum and sebaceous glands, these are the androgens that we talk about when we talk about acne. It's key to note here that it is not androgens alone that create the acne pathway. Other criteria are involved. The three androgens are dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, the most potent of all the androgens. The next androgen is testosterone, and probably the one you'll be most familiar with. Finally, dehydroampiandosterone is the weakest of the androgens and the hardest one to say, also known as DHEA. All three androgens circulate in the blood and are attracted to the androgen receptors, which are specifically located in the sebocytes of the sebaceous glands. All three of these androgens, DHT, testosterone, and DHEA, all interact with the androgen receptors, but some are more potent than others. An enzyme known as 5-alpha reductase is found in the sebaceous glands, specifically in the sebocytes. This 5-alpha reductase enzyme is responsible for converting testosterone to a more potent dihydrotestosterone, or DHT. DHT is five times more potent than testosterone, and DHT interacts with the androgen receptors, resulting in more sebum production. The 5-alpha reductase enzyme is found in higher levels of acne-prone areas, such as the face and the back. Although DHEA is a weaker androgen, it's still significant as it can be converted into DHT or testosterone is and is found in great abundance in sebocytes. In fact, DHEA is found in greater abundance in sebocytes than either testosterone or dihydrotestosterone. DHEA is also thought to be associated with a higher sebum output. Testosterone may be able to increase sebum output without being converted to dihydrotestosterone, but its effects are not going to be as potent. The role of androgens is a key factor in the production and output of sebum. It is not necessarily the amount of androgens that are circulating, but may be that some androgen receptors are more sensitive to androgens. If you enjoyed this video on hormone effects on the sebaceous gland activity and sebum production, please like and subscribe. And for more on skin topics, head over to noskin.com or visit us on Instagram at noskinschool.